In order to make the template, I will first print the body shape along with the tailpiece, the bridge, and the two pickups, and the center line. I will copy and make a new page and paste it here. Now the center line, I'll shorten it and then open the Documents Property panel and resize this page according to the, to the drawing. So at this point, I want to create some reference lines. So here I just created a reference line that's exactly two inches in height. I will make a copy and then flip that copy around. That's also exactly two inches. So I will measure this after printout to make sure that the printer printed it to a scale of one to one. So now I will save this file as a PDF. So here I've opened the, the file in Adobe Acrobat Reader and I will go to the print menu and choose my printer. I've already, these are already set to the proper settings but initially it would, it would look something like this where the picture would be fit to the page but we want to make a poster at 100% scale. I also want to show the cut marks. That will make it easier to tape the pieces together later. And I say print. Once the PDF is printed, I use a ruler to verify the reference lines in both the horizontal and vertical directions. Then I lay out the papers and then cut along the cut marks and tape the pieces together. I taped the cutout onto a 3 16 inch piece of MDF and then with a red thick marker trace along the edge. And finally I transfer the center line onto the MDF. I cut out the body shape using a jigsaw, staying away from the red line. I sand the edges on the oscillating sander until I don't see the red line anymore. I make sure to keep the template flat on the table so that the edges stay perfectly square. I wrap an 80 grit sandpaper around a piece of wood and sand all around the edges looking for irregularities. I make sure not to angle the sandpaper so that I don't lose the square edge. With my finger, I check for dips and, some, and bumps and sand those away. Transferring the template onto a new piece of MDF will make the template even more perfect. So I stick it on with some double stick tape. Then using a router bit with a ball bearing at the bottom, I transfer the template onto a new piece of 3 16 inch MDF. However, this step is optional and you don't really need to transfer it again onto the same thickness MDF. You could go straight to a half an inch or 5 8 inch MDF.
Now this is where I run into a problem. I assume I'm not holding the template flat, so a tear out occurs right there. Although the new template is ruined, the original template has just enough of a lip so that I could try it again. And it happens again. Now that I have a near perfect edge, I lightly sand the edges with a 150 grit sandpaper, again using my fingers to feel for irregularities. As you can see, the edge is perfectly square, and now this becomes my master template. I transfer the center line onto it and write uh, MT for master template. Using the master template, I will now make a regular template with 5 8 inch MDF. Although I didn't show it in the video, I used a polyurethane can to spray the edges of the master template in order to strengthen the board. I mark the locations of the center lines then remove the master template and draw the center line on the new template. So I'll use the template now to create guitar body shapes. Once the template has been used a few times and the ball bearings on the router have created grooves, I'll use the master template to create a new template. 